there's been a change in you. Capricorn, there's been a change. And yes, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading. There's always an extended. Uh, the link is below. Um, and it's for wherever Capricorn influences your existence, including if you're dealing with a Capricorn. This is an energy reading. But you have been, there's been a change in you. And it was necessary. And we discussed this earlier. We discussed this earlier this year, that your relationship with change with, was what was changing. And it kind of set off a dream inside of you it it set off a sense of um invincibility because uh, if you could overcome that fear you could literally overcome anything and in proving that to yourself there was this breakthrough this karmic breakthrough it's almost like is capricorn gonna learn it if they're going to learn it, they're going to go to the stratosphere and beyond. Like glass ceilings, broken, no holds bound, no, limitless. 11, 1, 1, 1. I just saw across the screen. So I guess this reading is primarily for those of you who really did rock it through the fucking stratosphere. Hi, Wuzzy. Hi, Wuzzy. My little baby's up here with me. Um... Because this leap of faith that you took, this, you just did it. You just did it. You broke fucking through. Um, you did it. And now, what are you going to do with what you got? That's what the sense of like, where, okay, where do I go from here? I put all this work into breaking through. I've broken through. Now, what do I do now? What? Wh where do I go next? And... Where do you go next is, well, what is it that you really want to achieve now? Because you have the energy and the momentum behind you. You have the karma behind you. So what do you want to do? Where do you want to go next? The power of doing something different. The power of walking into the fog. It was life-changing for you. It's interesting how your life changes when you change. How every decision you make from that point on becomes something that is building up your next, building up your, your, your path. Like, you know, building up your dreams, building you. Like, it's just interesting how you don't, you're not even focused on the building at that point. You're just the, fo you're just focused on staying strong and keeping it together, feeling like you're walking on water, like really almost suspended in midair, not even feeling the ground planted between your feet. Now this is you through Aquarius season, walking through air, Saturn, walking through this air sign, walking through this conceptual energy of all concept, breaking the rules, the rebel. You know, it's like when karma and father time goes into the sign of the rebel, goes into the sign of the intentional, um, intentional freak, not freak, but you know, not to, but like, yeah, intentional, wanting to stand out, wanting to be different. And what did that teach you to let yourself stand out? To let yourself be seen, really, truly seen, radiating this beautiful energy of special. Because there's nothing more unique in Aquarius than Saturn. Because it's so different than Aquarius. You know, yes, Aquarius does have a few things in common. It wants what's best. It wants to make the right decisions for the community, for the practical purposes. It does, absolutely. Um, but there is this sense of sticking out like a sore thumb, feeling like an oddball in this situation, in this, in this <laughs> like in your own life, feeling like an oddball. But somehow... Not hating it. 
where you would have retreated, been like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. No, no retreat now, no retreat. You were like, I'm not retreating, I'm not going back. There's fog. I still have my internal GPS. I still have the directions. I can't use my eyes, which are 3D, one of the five senses. I can't usually use my hear ears, which is one of the five senses. But now it was your time to put your faith in your sixth sense. My son's a pilot and he always talks about um, instrument training, instrument training, having to fly blind having to fly through clouds or in the, in not just in the dark, because that's actually not flying blind because there are so many lights that are created for planes to go off of. This is when you just can't see anything and you have to just you trust your instruments and know what the instruments mean and prove that you can fly just by your instruments. And those instruments I liken now, Capricorn, for you, I liken to your intuition, your psyche, those parts of you that you're not used to, you're used to having, but you're not used to putting all the stock in. And that was your only guidance system for a while. And holy crap, did you make a fucking breakthrough when you decided to just use that, to fly blind and use your internal guidance system. Now you, you've you opened up so much potential just by developing that skill set and knowing how to talk to your intuition, what your intuition means when it feels this way, when it steers you that way, what it was really like, you were not just following the flow, you were learning a new language. And in learning it, you have a whole new skill set, a skill set that you can now go and teach to others. That's real interesting, right? Like knowing something so well, you can tell somebody else how to do it. With confidence. Okay. So now you have this skill set. And maybe that's what you do with it. Maybe that, that was like, well, what do I do with it now? Maybe that's the answer. You teach others. You go on and you instruct and share what you've learned and what you know. And that's the karmic lesson here. That's paying it forward and guaranteeing you even more abundance in the future. The abundance is prepped, it's primed to keep flowing into you. What do you do with it? Like, how do you even feel like, forget about it. You feel, feel, not just feel good about it, feel grateful, feel grateful and then figure out what's, what's the step now. And you don't need to see the step in front of you. You already know it's there because you've sensed it. You've learned how to sense it without all that 3D tangible stuff helping you out. And you like, and now it's it's gone from not hating it to actually really freaking liking it. Kisses. When she starts sniffing around like that, I get a little suspicious. You know what I'm saying. Um, you're still in the fog. You haven't gotten out. Not yet. It's coming and it's coming in the near future. The fog. Um, but you know why it's coming? It's coming because now you have a new set of eyes. And you're not even going to recognize the fog because it's so automatic for you to be able to flip to this other sense. Like, just like you used to, if I can't see something, then I'll listen. Maybe I'll smell, maybe I'll taste. If I can't see it, maybe I'll smell it. Maybe I'll, You know, now it's just another sense that you've honed in and you've added to your canon. And so it's not something that you distrust anymore. It's something that you know, like the back of your hand. And even though it's a sixth sense, Maybe a seventh sense. You trust it just like you trust your five senses. It's as tangible to you as those things in the 3D. Why? Because it's real. Because you've experienced it. Because you have rubbed its belly. You've smelt its asshole. You've been under its claws. You've scratched its neck. You've, you've, you've braided its hair. You, literally every aspect of this beast you know.
And in doing so, you've tamed it. Because every beast wants to be known. Every, every beast wants to be known for its full bestial self. Doesn't want to have to hide what it is. And in part, this was you. You never really wanted to have to hide who you were. You never really wanted to have to keep coming off as perfect as you think you always have to come off. You never really wanted to keep that shit up. You really wanted the beast, every aspect of your beast to be known. And in a lot of ways, you exposed your beast and got to know somebody else's. Guess what? You're both beasts. You both have these imperfections. You're both. It's almost like Fiona and Shrek. It's like Fiona was so sad about not being able to present that perfect image when what was the perfect image was the ogre because her true love was an ogre too. And there you go. Like attracts like. Two people who need to let their inner beasts out and they do. And lo and behold, it's the most beautiful situation you could imagine. You dove in over your head, underwater, full on in complete emotions into a territory because this is all water energy. Trust in the great mystery. But you're like, I'm not going to fight this. I'm just going to dive in. I'm just going to trust that at the very least, I can hold my breath. You went all in. You went head first. Number one, you didn't hit your head. It was too deep for you to hit your head. Number two, you didn't drown. You had enough air. Number three, you let yourself trust your own buoyancy. This is full on, full in, completely immersed in emotions, beautiful emotions right now. Feeling really, really wonderful and good about a circumstance situation. Take a leap of faith. This is Jiminy Cricket. You followed your conscience. You decided to trust in yourself. You decided to trust in your own abilities. You took a leap. You said, I can handle this. Even if it seems like I can't, even if I've never done it before, I can do this. Or I'm going to figure it out on the way down. My wings will grow during the fall. What? did didn't it but I love this card because it is about a conscience think about a conscience do the right thing what does your conscience tell you to do Capricorn what does it really say what is it saying to you your conscience is telling you the right way to go what it is that really needs to be done what it like be yourself say what you need to say this is Gemini energy communicate who you are let your silly self out let your quirky self out there's more Aquarius in you than you realize Really interesting because I think Aquarius, before Uranus was discovered, used to be ruled by Saturn too. So in this quirkiness and in this craziness, there's a lot more of it in you than you really understand. You've got a lot to say. You've got a lot of concern. You've thought a lot about it. But this is also telling me, this is the Gemini energy. This is a one-on-one -on -one situation. This is a very personal circumstance. Gemini likes to communicate one-on-one. -on -one, really put all its focus on one person. Get intrigued by one person. Listen, speak, sing, share yourself with a specific someone. Or a specific opportunity. And put all your eggs in one basket, which is not practical and you normally would not do. But whoa, the impossible happened. Pigs are flying everywhere. Luck has struck as if this was an opportunity that you thought was completely and totally out of your hands and never going to happen. Bam, that's the one that's happening. And that's why this is so great because you never would have reached this opportunity if you didn't open yourself up to all these new possibilities. It's like by going through the fog, you found your rock. Be loyal to what you love. This is Cancerian energy, puppy dog energy, completely and totally unconditionally devoted and loved. 
a guiding force in your life, somebody that you trust, somebody that you love, somebody that you care for, somebody that you know is going to be there for you and not because of their resources but because of the emotions that they have for you and how they show it and how devoted they are to you and this is also you showing your loyalty i think loyalty was a big way that you proved yourself that you got through the fog that you moved this mountain it was just by being consistent and never forgetting somebody. This is Pisces and Pisces is that well of memory. It is pure water. This is Cancer and Pisces, two water signs, right? You may be dealing with a lot of water in your life right now because Scorpio is here too. You have a grand like water trine in your reading. So you're really surrounded by mystery, emotion, and psychic ability right now. You're in deep with somebody that you, yep, water sign. You're in deep with somebody that you just have to like trust. Things aren't built yet. The thing about you, Capricorn, is you like to hold up the establishment. Run the shit out of shit things. But actually going into that murky place of having to build it ground up or create something brand new, it's something that you never really tried before. Or at the very least, if you tried, you failed and you never wanted to try again because you never wanted to fail again. This is you going full in and saying failure is not an option here. If I fail, that's just my first try. I'm going to keep trying until I succeed. And your decision to do that and to take on this unknown energy was what won you the day. Literally, it is what made you stand out. Made you feel more yourself. Like you don't have to be dependent upon all those things that you were once dependent upon. Steady paycheck or, you know, um, a big money or a beautiful house. All those things that you once thought that were so necessary, you've literally... Yeah, I'm not saying you've thrown them away. <laughs> I don't think you'd throw them away without a good sale, you know. But I'm saying like you, you've... This is Aries energy. You're very comp You're not putting them first anymore. You're putting yourself first. You're focusing on your happiness and your potential and the future. You're focused on the future and it's a really playful, happy one. You're not taking things so seriously, but you're undercovering and, and, and un unveiling. Let's put it this way. You're unveiling all of those aspects of yourself that you hid in the dark. And all of these things that you're realizing that were subverted or hard or difficult and made you struggle and the pain that you had to go through, you're finding treasure in the trash heap. You, it's, this, is, this combination, these two together is almost like digging for, digging for gold. You know, it's like, it's like one in a million shot and you hit a diamond mine. Wow. Either that or this is a message of saying you're going to claim your freedom from any kind of emotional stress that you have been suffering from. You're claiming your independence from it. You're getting away from it and you're getting away from it by learning from it and by learning how to use it as a resource. Use this struggle, use this pain, use what you've learned and what you now know as a means, almost like a platform. To get attention from, to speak up from, to say things from. You're no longer in the ambiguous. I told you, this fog is clearing soon. There's no ambiguity here anymore. This is for certain. You're not blending in either. You're sticking way the fuck out and you don't care. You don't want to blend right now, Capricorn. Not in any way. You're not trying to hide in the shadows. You are perfectly okay with being in the spotlight. Why? Because it works for you. Because you realize, maybe by your time in Aquarius, you've realized my being in this spotlight puts me in a position to make things better for others. And you're going to show them the way out. There's some sort of energy here where you are going to be able to show people out of the fog. Show people through. I swear to God, it's almost like you're a fucking fog tour guide. You're the one that's going to be able... Now, this could have been what moved this person. 
what did the impossible, if you're dealing with a person, change their mind, change their heart, is that you cleared up the fog. You cleared up the confusion. Whatever distrust was there is not there anymore. You don't, like, it's, 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 you've won them over or they've won you over. But this circumstance has literally won the both of you over. Made you both come out winners. Let's see what the angel cards have to say. I'm curious. Because this is a really beautiful reading. Actually, no, stop. There's like one more card that has, all right, there you go. Set healthy boundaries. That's not you. There's one more card that has to come out for you, Capricorn. I know it. Know your worth. You were hiding your stink. You were. You were so afraid at what... Oh, I knew. I fucking knew. You literally, by hiding your stink, by pretending you were somebody that you were not, by creating this image of the perfect person, you were actually always finding the wrong person or finding the wrong opportunities because you were attracting what you were pretending to be. You weren't attracting who you really were. Now what comes, you are never alone. Long-term commitment, love, passion, security, and health, healing. Healing, health. Getting people out of that smog of, of their rotten emotions that's stinking up their life. Or you, yourself, being able to finally stand up to somebody. Finally be recognized as special. Why? Because you finally took a leap of faith in yourself and allowed yourself to be yourself out loud. Imperfect. This Because this is ridiculous energy. The supposition of the perfect person. And this image that you have to paint. No. But you let that shit be torn the fuck down. And now you can demolition anything. I knew it had to come out. There was more for you guys. Destiny. Ooh, you better stop. Angels have got some messages for you. Word. Destiny. It's staring me right at the face. In my face. It came out face forward. This is what the angel spirit guide messages, ancestor messages have to say to you. Your destiny is to blossom, to shine, to transform to an ever greater light. Capricorn, you're now living your destiny. You were never supposed to be hidden in the background. You were never supposed to be ignored or looked over. Your destiny has always been to shine. And now is the time. This is your destiny. I love how this is put in your face. Capricorn, we always meant this for you. You were never alone. You were never going to be refused this. Nope. Clarity. Ooh, close your eyes for a moment. You have to do this because I have to read the card. But close your eyes for a moment. Breathe in the blue of the sky. Feel a gentle breeze flow through you. There is peace. There is clarity. A magical healing has just taken place. A gift from your guardian angel. In other words, just breathe. Take a breath. And even if you're headed into horrible territory, it is that breath that will purify you and preserve you and, and allow you to get through always one step at a time. Clarity. Now you see. Now you realize. Now you have inhaled it, exhaled it, and you feel it throughout all your veins. You see it now and you understand it. And you're, in other words, you're finally willing to start accepting that this is your destiny and it always was. You're in the acceptance stage right now, Capricorn. Ooh, oh shit, determination. Does that sound familiar? Determination, perseverance, and patience will lead to a positive outcome. God Almighty, keep going. I think a lot of you are here already. And the angels are saying, your determination changed our minds. Your determination, not changed our minds, but got, got us on board and had us helping you. You showed us the way and we just lit it up. 
so it could be easier for you. It was your determination. There's something that you just didn't give up on. And if you are feeling like you need to give up, like you want to give up, do not give up. Remember, it is your destiny and you need to see it clearly as if it was right in front of you. Even if you're still in the midst, in the mist, the mist is going to clear soon. Your determination to not only get through the mist so you can get back to what is familiar with you. No, that's the wrong mindset. The determination has to be, in, I'm going to get comfortable in the mist. I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm not going to stay still because I don't stay still, but I am going to keep moving forward and I'm going to get comfortable and I'm going to learn how to understand the mist, learn how it works and learn how to feel comfortable here so that when I finally get out, I can go back if I ever need to. I know the secrets of the fire swamp. I could stay in there forever and it can. It's like you disarm the devil when you learn what makes him tick. And this is you. This is what you've done with the fog. So you're not just there, let me rush through it. Let me get out of here. No, let me learn it. Let me experience it. Let me let me understand it in a way that, because I'm uncomfortable with it and I don't want to be. That's what the secret is. Oh my God. Woo. Okay, let's go to tarot. Let's go to tarot and see what else is going to be revealed. That link is below. I will see you guys over there.